Hi there, and welcome to Hyundai Power Products. My name is Adrian, and today we're going to look at the HYW 3200E lawnmower. So I've laid everything out on the table here so you can see exactly what's in the box. First of all, we have the lawnmower itself with the upper handle attached. Here we have the grass bag, the 30 litre grass bag in two pieces, which will show you how to put that together. We have the upper handles here. A bag here with assorted parts that you're going to need to put it together. We have the four wheels, four wheel trims, the 10 metre power cord, and finally the user manual here. Now I do recommend that you read the user manual thoroughly before use. That's the contents of your packaging. So the first thing we're going to do is to fit the four wheels and wheel trims. Now I've opened up the accessories bag and pulled out this small bag here which has eight washers and four split pins. We're going to need these to fit the wheels. So let's have a look at fitting the wheels. So the first thing to do is to fit the wheel onto the axle. You'll see that there's a boss on the inside edge and a hollow on the outside. The boss goes towards the mower. So that's the wheel in place. Now you'll see that in the bag of washers, there are washers with large holes and small holes. The small hole washers won't fit. So we want the washer with the larger hole on next. And then we can take one of the little split pins and you'll see the hole in the end of the shaft and simply fit the split pin into the hole in the end of the shaft. Now to retain the split pin, you'll see that it's got different sized legs on the bottom. You can simply bend the two wings of the split pin around and that keeps the wheel in place. So I'll do exactly the same on the other side. Wheel on, washer on and the split pin in the hole. To fit the rear wheels, exactly the same procedure but you will see they've got these little transport covers here. So simply remove that first, then on with the rear wheel, on with the washer and again on with a little split pin and fold it into place. So that's the four wheels fitted. Next we'll fit the four wheel trims. Um, line them up, as you can see the triangle shapes. We'll line the two triangle shapes up and simply snap them into position. And repeat that operation for all four wheels. Next we're going to fit the, the lower handles. Um, those are these pieces here with the L shape on the end. So I'm going to place the lower handle over the bolt that's already fitted to the mower. Just push it home firmly. Don't worry if it doesn't go all the way in, because the nut itself will pull it in if you can't push it in that far. But I've just pushed it in firmly. Put a washer on, which is the other washers, the ones with the small hole that were in the packet that we used to find the washers for the wheels. These are the ones with the small holes and that's where these are used. So handle on, washer on and the net on. Now I'll repeat the operation for the other side. So that's the two lower handles fitted. We'll move on to the upper handle, this part here. Now before we fit this handle, you'll see that we've got this cable tidy clip here. We'll just fit that to the machine first. So up onto the handle and we can slide it over there temporarily. Now we can take the remaining bolts out of the bag. They go from the inside to the out, through the handle, through the hole in the upper handle. And we'll place that one in position. Exactly the same on this side. Bolt from the inside to the out, through the hole in the handle. And again, let me just secure it on this side. tighten up one of the orange bolts again to hold the upper handle in place. There we are. And I shall do exactly the same on this side. Okay, so washer on first. Then on with the orange knob. Just a few turns. Okay, at this point I can now secure 
all four of the knobs to make sure that they're tight and that's the handles and bolts fitted so one final bit of tidying up the two plastic clips remaining we'll put one on here and one on here and that's all the cables tidy away out of the way of the grass bag so moving on to the grass bag it comes in three pieces the lower part the upper part and the handle so let's put the grass bag together so we'll move on to fitting the handle now it doesn't matter which way it goes on it's the same both ways you'll see that there are these barbed black plastic hooks one either end and they correspond with these two slots now these can be quite difficult to get in but they do go in I'll push that one in first and then just squeeze it into position this end now I will need to turn it over and just push down on either end to get them to click into position there we go and that's the handle fitted so we'll move on to putting the upper to the lower part of the basket now the simplest way to do this I've done a few of these is to start from one end and you'll see that there's again a barbed hook and a slot from one end, insert the first one and then work your way around individually inserting the hooks as you go. So having got them all located, I'll just make sure that they're all clipped into place. Looking good. Okay, and there we are. That's the grass bag assembled. To fit the grass bag to the mower, you will see two hooks, one either side at the back of the mower, and corresponding holes here on the underside of the grass bag. Simply lift the rear flap, locate it in position, close the flap, and that's the grass bag fitted. It's simple as that, and then you can take it away, put it back on, very simple for emptying the grass bag. So the power cable fits in this socket on the back of the lawn mower. You will see that it's got two rectangular sides, and the rest of it is circular. It will only go on in this orientation. So yep, yeah, simply plug it in to the back of the mower. This is where the cable tidy comes into play. This is basically a strain relief. If you were mowing, there's a good likelihood if you tripped over the wire or somebody pulled on the cord or you reached the end of your stroke, that it will pull the power socket out and we don't want that. So if you just take a loop of cable only a couple of inches long, pass it through this lower slot and then pull it down over the little tab and that's the cable fixed hard on the cable strain reliever. Okay, so that's fitting the power cord. To adjust the cutting height of the lawnmower, each axle has three different positions. I've shown it here in the lowest slot in the deck itself and this would be the highest cutting position, the highest point from the blade from the ground. Whenever you're going to tip the mower on its side, make sure that you disconnect the lawn mower from the mains so there's no way you can start the mower when you've got your hands in this area. Okay, so to change the cutting height, simply pull the axle against the spring. And there we are, we're now in the middle cutting height. And again, I can do exactly the same. Pop, pop, and it's into its top cutting height. Make sure that you've got the axle in the same slots on both sides so that you haven't got it all leaning over. Now that I've shown you how it operates, once you get the hang of it, um, again, I've got the power cord disconnected, um, you can actually do it very simply, middle position, pulling the axle forward, and that's the lowest position. So yeah, it's, it's not difficult to change the height adjustment, but once you know how it works, you can see I can do it very quickly, just here. back to the high position. One thing I will say at this point is to make sure that you've got all four wheels in the same groove. So all four here in the highest position and if you're going for the middle position all four wheels in the middle and all four wheels on the top just to keep the cutting blade and cutting height level with the ground. I'm fortunate with this property I fitted an external uh, power supply IP64 rated so I've got an outdoor power point 
Now, this power point is protected by a 30 milliamp residual current device, or RCD. If you haven't got that luxury, um, I recommend that you get an RCD or residual current device. Um, they simply, it's like an adapter plug, plugs on here, you can plug it into a socket in your property, and that will protect you should you cut through the uh, wire or the cable. Um, you know, it does happen, but it will protect you from electric shock if that does happen and you cut through the power cable with the lawnmower. So, here we are. We have a power supply. So to turn the lawnmower on and off, as you can see, if I just pull the handle, nothing happens. You need to push this button down and then pull the handle. Well, there we are. We're ready to cut some grass. Well, I do hope you found this demonstration useful. For more information on this or any of our other products, visit www.hyundaipowerproducts.co.uk